Yo, what's up? This is that guy, Rel, the host of the 313 Live Show, Detroit's Royce Podcast Show. We thank you for tuning in to us over here on podcast, but now you need to go over and check us out on our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is The 313 Live Show. Make sure you go over, like the videos, comment on the videos, and most importantly of all, subscribe and tell a friend. What up, dog? Oh my god, 313 live. 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 This episode 70, 70, 70, last week was 69, but you know what, this is that guy Rel, the host of the 313 Live Show, and this week, you know, I'm doing it on a little solo tip, you know what I'm saying, J Street, Danny Ave, they out celebrating the 4th of July, and that's what, you know, they, they out doing, and I salute them, and they will be back in here next week, but the show must go on, we already missed one week. And I said we will not miss another one. So what I'm going to do this week, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to be in here. I'm going to rock it out and um, do what I do, talk shit, you know, and um, do a little something different. You know what I'm saying? I want to, it's Independence Day, right? So I want to take this show and I want to dedicate it to all of the independent artists. You know what I'm saying? It's out there everywhere. So I'm just going to. Put some songs on and interview some independent artists and you know what I'm saying, let them speak, say what's on their mind, introduce their songs. You know, I got some hot fire over here and I got females this time, y'all. This is is, is really was was tripping me out. The females nines getting up on it. I, I put that call out on YouTube early today. Uh, for the independent artists and they've been pouring in and pouring in. And you got some that sent me they shit. But they didn't send me a contact number, so I can't put you put you on the show if you ain't got no contact. Because I don't just put your shit on there. I want the podcast world and the podcast audience to know who you are, so we can rock and roll and do what we do. Keep it going. So, um, other than that, I'm chilling. How was y'all Fourth of July? Mine was beautiful. You know, I had fun. You know, I had some some family and friends over. You know, did the barbecue thing. And chill, and that, that's all that you know you're supposed to do on on that day. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. So shout out to all my YouTube subscribers, and mainly, most important, last but not least, my podcast audience. You know what I'm saying? So I just can't separate the both of y'all, the two, no more because it's just gonna be one three one three live family. That's all it's gonna be. It ain't no more YouTube subscribers, no YouTube. Uh, no um, podcast subscribers or listeners It's all the 313 Live family And let me say this people And I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all I always tell everybody on my podcast And I tell y'all on YouTube I don't know how to be nothing but real with you I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing for you You feel what I'm saying? If you are looking for somebody to sugarcoat some shit and tell you what you want to hear and blow smoke up your ass and, you know, pat you on your ass and say, yeah, yeah, this is that. That guy real ain't that guy. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you flat out the motherfucking truth. You know what I'm saying? If we bump heads on the truth, then it is what it is. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to sit around and say, oh, yeah. This is this, and that is that. Yes, the sky is orange when the sky is blue. I'm not going to do that. But you got some people out there that's willing to do that for you to just to get your subscribes or to get you to listen to their show. If I lose subscribers behind me just being real and keeping it 100 with you and not blowing smoke up your ass, then it is what it is. Peace, be out, and somebody else will take your place. Now... Let me say this before I go on any farther and start introducing these artists 
independent artists that just came in and, and dropped their shit to me. Now, let me say this. You guys are not my fans. You are not my groupies. You are not my subscribers. And you're not just my listeners. You are family. I consider each and every last one of you guys family. When a motherfucker start telling you you his fan or you his subscriber or you his listener, that's a motherfucker that don't give a fuck about you. That's a motherfucker that's, okay, well, you just here to to do what I need you to do, and that's give me views, give me likes, or, or give me downloads. It ain't like that with that guy, Rel. I reach out to each and every last one of my people. I try to include you guys into the show. Um, I, I interact with you guys quite regularly on my YouTube, my, not only on my YouTube channel, but my Facebook channel as well. I sit back and I let you guys into my world, let you see what I'm doing and how I do shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just that. You got motherfuckers that, that, that certain individuals praise these motherfuckers like they got and tell them, oh, you the man, you the OG, you the shit. But the motherfucker only pick and choose who they want to say hi to or respond back to. I don't do that. I respond to all of you. Now, criticism, we all got to learn how to take criticism, right? But there's a thing called criticism with respect. Because if you criticize some shit that I did that you think that was fucked up and you come at me in a respectful manner, then guess what? I'm going to come back to you on a respectful manner and respect you. But if you criticize some shit that I said that you don't like and you come in a disrespectful manner, I'm going to tell you to suck my dick. Fuck you. You ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's just this is who I am. You disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. But if you respect me, I'm most definitely going to respect you. So pretty much I'm done with that. And we're going to go off and um, we're going to get the first artist on the phone. And um, let them introduce their music and, and tell you who it is. And, you know, and it's, called, and it's ladies first. So this is going to be a young lady that I'm going to introduce. This, this is going to let you hear who she is. And this young lady, she is hot. She's super hot. Vocals is hot. The song is hot. I personally like it. After um, tonight, I'm putting this on the MP3 and I'm bumping it in my Cadillac everywhere I go. So I'm going to be turning people on to this young lady. Her name is Tia Cheeks. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get Miss Tia Cheeks on the phone. And uh, we're going to do what we do. And I'm going to explain to some people about the little YouTube beef that I had with this asshole named um, Dumbass Reviews. That's all I'm going to call him. I'm not even going to give you his fucking name. He's, he don't even deserve his name to be aired on my show. He's just going to be called Dumbass Reviews. And that's going to be pretty much that. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, everyone. It's your homegirl, Danny Ass. And if you can't get enough of me on the 313 Live Show, then I suggest you come over to Something to Brag About podcast. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. Just keyword search S-T-B-A. You can also find us on social media, IG and Facebook at Something to Brag About podcast. Please come and check us out. We'd love to have you. Yep, that's right. Because if you like me over here, you're going to love me over there. Thank you and good night. Okay, podcast. I told y'all I was coming back. And the first artist out the gate, artist number one, is a female. Ladies first. I told y'all this is um, dedicated Independence Day, independent artist. Why don't you tell the people who you are? My name is Tia Cheek. I am from Henderson, North Carolina. I've been singing all my life. Um, I wrote this song called I'm Not Going Anywhere. I Ain't Going Nowhere. Um, pretty much based off of the relationship that I am in currently. Okay. I thought about leaving for numerous reasons. But I thought about it and I was like, you know what, this dude is good to me, so let me just hang on and there's no need in leaving him to end up back with something that I left, you know, a long time ago and they didn't treat me pretty, you know, they didn't treat me well, so this dude, he's doing pretty good and I'm, I'm cool with that. So I went on and I wrote it and it became a banger. Everybody loves it and uh, 
it's doing pretty good. You can find me on um, YouTube, Tia Cheek. I ain't going nowhere. You can also find me on Facebook under Katilia Cheek. And you can also find me on Instagram, Katilia underscore 37. Katilia thir- underscore 37. Y'all hear that, ladies and gentlemen. So how long have you been in the um, singing business? How long you been singing? Well, I've been singing since I was about six years old. Um, I just recently started writing music maybe eight years ago. And um, it was kind of hard for me to find someone to actually put an instrumental to my lyrics. For some odd reason, I, I write songs and a melody will come to me and I just write to it and I just have a whole song, but I just need some musicians to put some music to it. So my dream is to have my own band. That's what I want. I want my own traveling band and I'm not gonna stop until I get it. So that's that's the road I'm on and I'm, I'm patient. Um, I'm not hasty, I'm not in a rush. I just want everything to work out God's plan, you know? First. I just I just want everything to work out that way. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. So, is there anywhere like you got any of your music for sale? Because like, you know, we got a, a wide audience and you know, iTunes is the thing and um streaming right. music is the thing. So, you know, do you have any of your music on any um stream sites or just basically YouTube and SoundCloud of that nature? I just have SoundCloud right now. I am actually working on um, the ads cap. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get all of that. I'm like, look, everybody, I'm new to this. It's a lot that I'm still learning. In the process, I'm still making music. Um, but you can find me on SoundCloud too. And um, in the meantime, I am trying to put my music out there. Um, I'm with Bigger Than Life Entertainment and um, big shout out to Harley Johnson and Joshua Spade. You know, these guys are awesome, but we kind of, you know, we kind of slow. We all doing our own thing. And like I said, I'm fine with it because I like to produce good music. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. So why don't you introduce this song that we're about to play for our podcast audience, please. And thank you. Okay, this song that you're about to hear is called I Ain't Going Nowhere by Tia Cheek. I hope you like it. Um, it's a banger. Everyone loves it. I hope you like it. Let me know how how you, you know, how you feel in the song or whatnot. You can hit me up on Facebook under Katilia Cheek, or you can go to Instagram under Katilia underscore 37, or you can go to SoundCloud under Tia Cheek. Okay, spell Katia. Spell it for them so they know it. Spell it. Katia is C A T I L L I A. Cheek, C H E E K. Okay, gotcha. You know. um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people can't spell, so we going to make sure that they got it <laughs> right. Now, now Miss Katia Cheeks, we're going to put your song on and make sure you stay connected with the 313 Live Show family. Anytime you got some music that you want to drop, on us drop it on us and we all about supporting the local artists the independent artists and getting you heard you know what i'm saying could, could, could you most do that? definitely most definitely i have more songs so i'll be dropping some more maybe tomorrow uh, that, that's exactly <laughs> what i'm talking about stay tuned podcast and here's our hit song from her i ain't going nowhere could you give him a little acapella can you do that I ain't going nowhere, I ain't going nowhere, I'm here to stay, I'm here to stay, my love's here forever, through any kind of weather, I'm ready babe, I'm ready babe. Hey, hey y'all, and that ain't no sound, no, no, none of that, um... Whatever, auto tunes and none of that shit. This is a real <laughs> artist right here. And that wasn't even it. Look, it wasn't even from the gut. It was just a little falsetto. So falsetto, yeah. y'all. Okay, now here's her hit song, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I told y'all I was going to do some special shit for y'all and um, get these independent artists out here that um, get their music in. It's Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to all the artists who got to me and got me their shit. If you got me your shit and you didn't leave me your number, I'm going to have to feature you on a later day on the, um, another show as far as like as one of the um, artists of the week or song of the week. That's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to promise you that. Anybody who sent me their music... And it's yours, I'm going to put it on my show And that's a guarantee, that's who I am I'm a man of my word So now, everybody been asking me about This little internet beef that I had with this asshole His name is, um, I'm not going to say his name I'm just going to call him Dumbass Reviews, right? Now, let me just say this about this dude Okay, he's a black man I love him, he's my brother Just because he's a black man I got love for him but other than that, he's a fucking asshole. He gives misinformed information. He lies to his audience, you know what I'm saying, and just twists the truth 
on shit. You can go listen and look at all this guy's videos, right? To those of you who know who he is, but I'm not finna shine him on my show. So, you go listen to all his old videos, watch his old YouTube videos, right? And this dumb motherfucker lies after lie after lie. Um, he catches him, and he gets caught up in so many lies. Now, he has a younger fan base, you know, a younger fan base. A lot of his audience, and I'm just going to keep it real, and I'm just going to keep it 100. You can go read half of his audiences, the comments that they leave in this shit, and you can tell that these are fucking kids. And the people who are older and got their picture up and say dumb shit like, watching your channel is like watching my favorite uncle. You're like my favorite uncle, right? These motherfuckers are borderline fucking retarded. Real fucking talk And I'm If I, you feel that you disrespected Then the truth fucking hurts And I'm just gonna keep it real And always tell you the truth Now People Let me Let me say this to you If you're following anybody on YouTube Facebook Whatever it is And you Shout them out Say hey what's up Yada yada this and that And this motherfucker Can't take the time out To speak to each and every last one of y'all That is a motherfucker That you shouldn't be following that is a motherfucker you shouldn't be subscribed to his channel. We're not talking about motherfuckers like Jay-Z, Kanye West, um, Nas, and, and anybody of, of celebrity status. We're talking about us YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? When you say what's up to us, we're supposed to speak back to you. We're supposed to interact with you, you know what I'm saying? Don't pick and choose who you interact with, you know what I'm saying? This kid... He picks and chooses who he interacts with. If you're not sucking his dick and you're not kissing his ass, then he's not going to speak to you. You know what I'm saying? He's just going to roll right past you. But if you're sucking his dick and kissing his ass, then you he speaks to you. And people, the guy that, who I'm speaking of, you know who he is. And you just go back and you can read down and read down. If you're giving him getting in his ass and letting him know that you li he's lying, he's not going to reply to you. Or... He might delete your shit. If he don't like what you're saying to him, he's going to delete it. But if you're sucking his dick, you know, he's going to embrace you back. You know, he reminds me of Jim Jones. I'm just sorry to say, y'all, not the rapper Jim Jones, the motherfucker Jim Jones from back in the 70s who had all them dumbass followers leave America and go with him on the island, take all their money and drink this Kool-Aid, poison this Kool-Aid. And this is what he does to his audience. He's feeding them poisonous food, and these dumb motherfuckers is inhaling it and ingesting it. Here's one um, thing that he did. I can point out a couple things that he did, but I'm not going to put my whole show basing it on him. Now, everybody know that Tupac, the late great Tupac Shakur, was shot with a 40 caliber gun. And everybody know that the late great Notorious B.I.G. was shot with a 9mm. This asshole goes on his YouTube um, page channel and he tells his audience that Tupac and Biggie were shot with the same fucking gun. How is that even fucking impossible? I mean, possible to be shot. Biggie shot with a nine, Tupac shot with a 40 caliber. How in the fuck is that the same gun? It's impossible. It's not. And his followers. His, his I, I call them degenerates. His degenerates, they eat this shit up like candy, and none of them challenges him. None of them challenges him. But the ones that does challenges him, his degenerates gets in, in, in they ass form, you know. And he 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 calls himself a bishop, call himself a prophet, you know what I'm saying? And 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 this is none of this is true because I tracked down and did my homework on him. And he might make a, he might, cause he listens to my podcast. So he might hear this and call me a lie and go say, Oh, the, the, he, he does, he shoots out subliminal disses, big shit. That's what bitches do. Right. And I go at you and I, I kill you with facts. So I'm just going to say Kojic motherfucker, Kojic, C O G I C. That's a hint, motherfucker, to let you know that I done some investigating on your motherfucking ass, nigga. Kojic. C O 
G-I-C. So you know what the fuck I mean, nigga. And I got some people from Kojic that was willing to come on this motherfucking show and air your ass out. But I set that to the side because I'm done with you, bruh. I'm done. I'm not going to even waste no more time with you. You and your degenerates. So I feel like this, that if you are his, one of his degenerates and you're listening to my podcast show, right? Think about this. Go back and look at all his fucking videos and tell me not one time you have not caught this dude up in a lie. The, the shit that he's telling is, is, is bull, you don't see that it is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? A lot, like I said, these are kids. A lot of kids, a lot, their minds not even fully fucking developed. The people that's following this guy. He's a fucking asshole and a moron. So, with that being said and done, I'm off, the, I'm off of him. Let's hit a commercial break and I'm going to bring in this next artist. And this next artist, hey, he got a motherfucking feature with Boosie Badass. And they gonna, he's dropping this shit right here on my motherfucking podcast show tonight. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back. Stay up to date what's going on with the 313 Live show. You can follow us on social media. We are on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, The 313 Live Show. You can also follow our page on Facebook, The 313 Live Show on Podcast. And if you have anything you want to say to us, please feel free to leave us an email, The313LiveShow at gmail.com. What's up, podcast? I am back, and I told y'all I had this special feature on with this brother that's on the phone, and this feature got Boosie Badass in this motherfucker, and it is a top banger. When I tell y'all, y'all gonna enjoy this motherfucker right here. What's up, fam? Tell the podcast world who you are. What's up, y'all out there? This is Black Smoke out here in Kansas. Black Smoke out of Kansas. Now, Black Smoke, now you do know This ain't no local podcast shit. This ain't nothing local in America, baby. This is global. We got 62 countries outside of America that's listening to us, baby. So you're going to get views from overseas over in China, motherfucking Japan, Korea, um, Russia. Man, they they out there just to name a few of them. South Africa, man, um, Korea, you you there, baby. You finna be heard. Man, I so want to thank you for using your platform to put people on like this. A lot of people in places like that ain't doing it. So I really accommodate you on that, bro. No doubt, fam. No doubt. Now, that's what I'm all about. But this ain't about me. This is about you, brother. How did you come to do this collaboration with Boosie Badass, brother? That's one of my favorite artists. And I got some songs with some hit artists that's on his label. So I just reached out to him and... um. We got all the business straight, and we went on and handled it. And that's my that's my older son that's on there with on the song with us too as well. Legendary Zay. Okay, Legendary Zay, what's up? And it's hey everybody on that spitting, bro. I watched the video. You you come in doing your thing, man. So um, man, where where do you got music at? So like, if the people want to like buy your music, hear your music, where can they hear that? Man, y'all need to check out my YouTube page at Mr. Black Money 15 on YouTube. And you can purchase the albums. I got like four albums up. They all on Apple Music. Everywhere downloadable that you can get download music at. Okay. Shoot them out your um your your social media. Let them know like your, your, your wait a minute, before we do your social media, man, I'm just curious. You in the video with Boosie, y'all in the studio together. What is it? What is that dude like? Just working with us. Tell us a, a, a boot. I tell everybody like when I, I have people come on that was was, was friends with Tupac and work with Tupac. I always tell them at the ask them at the end of the story, at the end of the thing. Tell us a Tupac story that only you guys know that none of the public know, the media nobody know that you know about Tupac. Hanging out with him and working with him. Tell us a, a story about Boosie Badass working with him behind the scenes. Tell us a, a story. Man, he, he in the morning like, hey, bro, I'm my flight land at my flight land in two hours in Wichita. So I, had, I live in Lawrence, which is like two hours and thirty minutes away. So I had to get up, jump on the highway, shoot out there. We get out there go to the room, meet him and everything. So then we go down there to the building where we're going to shoot the video at, and he's like, Black Smoke, 
what y'all got in here to eat, man? We got some chicken. He want he want chicken. He love chicken. Okay. Then he's like black smoke. I need some water, bro. Give me some water, bro. He just had me like running around for him all day. It was just funny to me. <laughs> and then he just got got into his music, and uh, he just was so animated. We could tell he was feeling it. He was really digging that song, so we were really appreciative of that. And it just. Like I said, we got it on a uh, world star hip hop. We got over a million views. Y'all gonna support that? Yo, so tell everybody your social media, where you at, everywhere you at. Y'all can get me at at Black Smoke the Sh- Black Money the Shark on Instagram, the real Black Smoke on Reverb Nation, and that's just a couple that I got right now. Just a couple. No, you you did shoot out Facebook, then you and Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitter. You shot that out, right? I, I was sleeping a little bit. Yeah, you can look me up on Michael Robinson at Black on uh, Facebook. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling y'all this this, this shit is dope. Introduce the track to him, fam, because they finna get a treat right here. This is a treat. I, I think I'm one of the first local independent podcasts without a big brand behind them. To get a boosy badass song on his podcast, put man introduce this song. That got that, bro. Introduce this song, brother. Introduce it. What's up, y'all? I'm Black Smoke. This is my single, Take Off, featuring Legendary Zay and Boosy Badass. They took y'all getting that on the three one three live show. Exclusive people. Exclusive. This is an exclusive right here. Stay tuned. Real exclusive. Tonight I'm out my body. Tonight I'm out my body. Uh, who? Uh, me and my design. Hey, twerk. Me and my design. Pluto. Pluto. Pocket full of money, man. Can't nobody stop hey. it. Tonight I'm going in. Me and my design. Looking real cool. Me and my dudes, we be silent. Hey. Used to pass me up. Now I get love from everybody. I take off. I'm taking off like a rock. I take off. Taking off like a rocket. Woo. Can't you see? I'm taking off like a rocket. Rolls Royce followed by a brand new Maserati. Riding through dipping them prescriptions in my body. Fresh shot the pin at it again. Can't stop me. Pass through the hood. Let my forges do karate. Bank roll shout it. This is big dog talk. Just to buy some hard times for the big. I bought 
2K. Beat bank in my pocket. Taking out just like a rocket. Yeah, put some lean until I does all. Yeah, throw some ratchet, take some clothes off. Yeah, fuck that hoe until she does all. Yeah, then after that, I cut that hoe off. I'm back on that bullshit again. Yeah, blowing cause blunts in the wind. Yeah, I just pulled up in the bins. Yeah, just my fuck her and her friends. Hey, on the plug, no socket. Yeah, in my pocket, keep a rocket. Yeah, you got ass and shawty, drop it. You got ass and shawty, drop it. What would you do for a check? Yeah, what would you do for a check? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You want this money, come and prove it. Hey, throw that ass like a hula hoop. I'm dripping sauce in my Jimmy juice. Girl is a but you already knew. I walk in, they pick and choose. Shawty wet it like a dolphin. Young Zay, I be saucing. Big blunts got me coughing. You know that I do this often. Taking off like Harden. H Town, I'm a rocket. All this money in my pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pocket full of money, man. Can't nobody stop it. What's up, podcast? How you doing? I'm back. This that guy Rail. Um, this is beautiful tonight. I got two ladies that drop music off tonight. Actually, it was like four ladies, but two of them they didn't get back with me with their phone numbers. But enough of them. Tell everybody who you are, young lady. Tell us. I'm Shantae Franklin. Yeah, Shantae. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where you from, baby? Where you from? Tell us where you from. Originally, originally Bellflower, but I'm in Cali still. Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit about this song that you you got, and I'm getting ready to bump for the podcast world and let them hear. Tell us a little bit about this song. Um, it's uh. You nervous? Come listen, what? listen. Calm down. Be so many. Calm down. Calm down. You sound nervous. Take a deep breath. It's gonna be all right. It's podcast. Now go ahead. Tell us about the song. Okay, the song. My brother made this song, and I just sang it, and he just told me to give me my all, so I had to do what it do. Okay. And who is your brother, if you don't mind me asking? My brother is Carl Johnson. Carl Johnson. What's up, Mr. Carl Johnson? How you doing out there? So, the name of the song. What's the name of the song again? And tell us a little about this song. Uh, why you gotta be so mean? Because, plain and simple. Why you gotta be so mean? That's right. Don't be so mean. Was it was it wrote for a particular person or in particular person or just? No, just just because to hit each and every memory in this world you know there's a lot that people are going through nowadays and you never know what's what and i just i just want to thank my husband carl franklin because he always got my back and he ain't mean that's beautiful <laughs> shout out to carl franklin i heard a track by with him and you on it and that was that was dope and carl never got back yeah, to me it. So, yeah. I gotta send you some of his songs because he uh uh he gets down. Okay, we gonna yeah, and he's from he's from Long Beach. Yeah. Okay, we gonna have to work with him, get him on the show. So, shoot, for sure. For sure. Now, do you want to shoot out your um, social media? I mean, social media to whether people can get in contact with you or listen to your music at um, where they can buy it. You know. Yeah. If you want to listen to my music, just hit up Kyle S. Franklin at gmail.com. And uh, you know what I'm saying? It'll be there. He can send you more. Y'all can hook up because he's, he, 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 he's who's in charge right now. So y'all got to go to him. Okay. <laughs> spell his name for him. Spell his name because we got some people that can't spell. So spell his name for him. K-Y-L-E. Okay. Frank at gmail.com. Okay, y'all got that. Hit it one more time for him. I wanna, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, y'all need to listen to uh, SoundCloud. Y'all need to listen to Ben Rothstein. And uh, oh. trust me, he'll be on the show probably before the next time I'm on the show. Okay, I I can't wait to get him on the show the next time. So, um, is there a promise that you're gonna get him on the show? Uh, a day? Oh, there's a, there's, and and you know what? I didn't even send you none of his stuff. I didn't. Who? Complications, complications. This decisions making. Uh, yeah. Um, out there, yeah. Okay. Um, that's the positive on that one. Okay. Okay. Well. I want you to introduce this song to our audience and let them know the name. Once again, the name of the song and tell them who you are. Hey, y'all, this is Sean Page Franklin, Kyle Franklin's wife. And uh, I'm going to introduce this song. This song. Why you got to be so mean? You know what I'm saying? Got it. Why you got to hurt me? So y'all just listen to the song and you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give your props. There we go. Stay tuned, podcast, and here's the song. Well, I'm going to thank all the local artists, independent artists, should I say, who sent over their music. I appreciate you. And um, 
thank you all for listening to the 313 Live show. I love and appreciate each and every last one of you. Peace and love. I'm out of here. And you will. All three of us will be in the building next week. Myself, Danny Ab, and Jay Streets. Peace and love, Detroit. And the whole world. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening. Peace.